In the end, however you spin it, however the post office spins it, the uh, revelation on Wednesday night that uh, on Channel 4 News that there was a recording between post office executives, two forensic accountants, in 2013, which proves that the post office knew that the Horizon system was faulty and recognized it and used its lawyer. Its lawyers knew that it was faulty by 2017, and yet they were still pursuing sub postmasters and sub postmistresses and pushing forward cases which led to their imprisonment. This is not. This is not just. Uh, an error of judgment. This is evil. It's morally reprehensible. It's legally questionable because this means that lawyers who should be dealing with facts and should be submitting facts to the court, no matter how they spin them, they were suppressing facts. Clear facts. Now, I, I, I should have thought this was probably the sort of stuff that would get people struck off. Uh, it's certainly the sort of stuff that should arouse serious investigation. The police are now looking into this. This isn't a matter now for simply the government to pay off and compensate the victims. This, I think, has now moved into another phase where it becomes a criminal case. Now, the problem with that is that could also be used to delay and to uh, vacillate, but it shouldn't be. It, it simply compounds the offence. And the question now, I suppose, has to be how high up does that knowledge go and at what point does it stop? For example, does it stop at a ministerial level? How much do the ministers know about the um, information that was known in 2017 that the Horizon system was faulty and yet at the same time the post office was pursuing its obsessive um, witch hunt, a witch hunt and it seems utterly utterly abhorrent that this can have gone on for so long but it's not unusual if you look across over to the NHS, you can see the same sort of witch hunt, the same sort of mentality dominates the treatment of whistleblowers, perfectly ordinary people who feel it's necessary to point out that something has gone wrong. And yet, by calling out a problem in the system, rather than fixing the system, the authorities who run that system seem to go after the person who's called out the problem. The same thing happens incidentally in schools. Because in the end, this is all about control. It's not about fixing the problem. It's about ensuring that the people who are in power remain in power. And if they've done anything wrong, all the better, because that can be used as compromat by their associates, just in case they fall out of step or just in case they're required to do something that maybe is questionable or maybe they don't want to do. The screw can be twisted. It's the stuff of Eastern Europe. It's the stuff perfected by Russia. And I find it utterly abhorrent.